Hey team, I'm here with Andy today and we're going to take you through a little, um, a little warm up or a little muscle activator that you can use before you start your training. So first things first, we'll be using a little tool we've got here which we've been having plenty of fun with, the mini band. So mini band, it creates some tension um, and gives you something to push against so it starts to fire up those deeper muscles that you want to use before you get into your workout. So what we're going to get Andy to do is take the feet about hip width apart and she's pushing her knees into the mini band. So what we're going to ask Andy to do now is drive the hips up towards the ceiling. She's keeping her core tight and she's keeping tension on the band at all times. So what this is going to do is it's going to wake up her glute muscles, glute muscles of the bum and also the muscles on the side of the hip. Slowly back down Andy. So Andy's going to come up slowly, hold for two seconds, just squeeze at the top Andy. Then you see nice control all the way back down. Feel that? Yes. Good job. So at home guys and girls, we want you to do 10 or 12 reps of this to get started. And do that a couple of times through, two or three times through. Good. Right, from there Andy's going to come up and she's going to slip the, ankle, the band down around her ankles now. So with the band around her ankles, using something as support, what we're going to do now, core tight, chest nice and high, Andy's going to, just going to take a little movement out to the side. So we're getting some more activation through the, through the side of the hip here. Nice job, Andy. Thank you. Feel that? Yes. Good job. Same on the other side. Again, guys and girls, you can pay attention to the sets and reps in your program, or if you're trying it for the first time yourself, then 10 to 12 reps is a good starting point. Good job. Right, from there, we'll just take the bar out your way. Andy's going to bring the band up now around the knees. So now we've done a couple of isolation exercises to get the hips going, get the glutes going. She's going to take the feet into a squat position now she's got, put some pressure on the band, and when she's ready away she goes. Nice good squat Andy. Again she's got chest high, she's got good alignment with the hip, knee and ankle, she's keeping the pressure on the band at all times, and she's smiling. <laughs> good job. Perfect. Perfect, right I'm just going to ask Andy to slip out of that one, and we're going to use a blue one now, just to get the upper body woken up as well. Get to slip your what we want to do here is warm up the, the shoulders, so Andy's going to create a little bit of tension. Now she does that, that's going to bring her shoulders out and back, or externally rotated, what we're looking for. So we're going to get some action now in between the shoulder blades, and he's going to squeeze back. Good, nice job. So we've got some tension here through the side of the shoulders and now she's pinning her shoulder blades back and down to squeeze inside. Good job Andy, nice. Feel that? Yes. So great little warm up there guys, for, especially with the upper body, if you're going to lift anything, if you're going to bench, um, if you're going to do any rowing movements, even if you're going out and running, you want to make sure that those shoulders are back and down. It gets the muscles in between your shoulder blades activated so your shoulder's in a much, much better position to work from. Okay, we'll see you soon. Enjoy.